So a few months ago, a friend of mine, Stan, asked if he could take my portrait using the wet plate uh, collodion process. Of course, I said yes. And uh, this this little video I'm going to show you or share with you is um, just a recording of the day, the process, what we did, and just a sort of behind the scenes look. Stan designed and built the camera himself using an old Schneider 210 4.5 lens. He also built the portable dark room out of a plastic storage container. So, pull it on top. On the corner two. Clodia is basically a weak organic glue that's ideal for coating stable surfaces oh. such as glass or metal for photography. Doing this so it doesn't set in the waves. And now I put it here and do it quickly. When it's drying, you know, it, otherwise it, you would have waves. As you can see, Stan is rocking the plate after pouring the liquid. He finds this helps dry the plate more evenly. And now you can see how shiny it is. And no waves. That's it. So now it goes to silver. I know, it's Saturday evening. After pouring and waiting for the clothing to set, he puts it into a silver nitrate solution. There, the silver binds with the collodion, creating a light sensitive layer. Alright, perfect. Now I'm gonna close the lens. Don't worry, it will not flash. Now I'm gonna change it to time. Set the shutter, it's one second. Change the plate. One. All right, Peter. Blink with your eyes. Open eyes. That's it. Let's get the darkness. With it, the silver, the silver comes out. Develop in. Stop. Which is just water. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Plate, developer. would be do it again no you're just bunching yourself up I think we can just try the straight on portrait again all right if you can stay like this this will be perfect I'm gonna be quick this is set cock the shutter give it a tabby tabby Three, two. Wow, that's so bright. You did perfect. Thank you. After the fixing, the plate goes into the wash bath. Tap water is fine to use. Um, there it stays for 20-30 minutes with frequent agitation and change of water midway. You will see it changes from a negative to a positive image in this process. It looks a better crop. Hmm? 
<laughs> you look so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. God. Yes. It will bring it back to its sort of dark state. Okay. Corners. The last step is varnishing. Corners. And off. I'm sorry. I'm gonna tilt it to drip. And here it's just slowly dripping. And after a while, I have to stop it dripping. Otherwise, the ball of varnish will form. And I dripped a little bit of varnish on the floor. Right. And now we pray for no explosions. Over the flame or other heat source, we bake in the varnish and therefore seal in the film layer on top of our plate. I'm moving it around to give it an uh, equal amount of heat from the front to the back. Even though it's not glass, I want it to dry evenly. It also ensures good glossiness. Looks great. Also negative looks very fine. Like the cropping looks better, it looks much closer. It is, but not too much. Yeah. Might have slightly overdeveloped it. But I was looking more at the eyes that are slightly shadowed, so I should have just stopped the developer in the certain spots. Mm -hmm. it's still pretty good though. Yeah. But it's a little bit front focused again. You, you see, it's at this part of your cheek, but not on the eye. And I did my best this time. So to recap, uh, this is our first attempt. The lighting is a bit too hard. I didn't like the dark shirt and the white background and I felt I needed a, a, a tighter crop. The second attempt, the focus was on my beard, not my eyes. We got rid of the hard lighting, but I need to look less serious. For the third attempt, I would use a hat as a prop. I made the crop a little tighter, uh, but that felt that I, I felt that shirt was blending into the background too much. For the fourth image, we changed the backdrop and I went back to the dark shirt again. Apart from the reflection of the light in my glasses, I think this is the best of the five images. The fifth and final image, we changed the lighting to hide that reflection in the glasses, but it just went too dark over the eyes. So overall, I think the fourth image is the best of the five. I didn't do much apart from press the shutter release cable a couple of times towards the end. Uh, standard all the hard work. Um, I'll put a link to his Instagram page on the description text below. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did. Um, yeah, more videos to come this year, I promise. Take care.